Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football Four, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Old school versus new school. Power and ISO versus pitch and catch. Get the athletes out in space. These two teams have contrasting styles, contrasting philosophies. One team obsessed with time of possession. The other one could care less about establishes oh, NCAA college football action coming up next. David and I will see you at halftime. Michigan Stadium, the first college stadium to use an electronic scoreboard, plays host to this great college football contest coming up. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Williams is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down at the 32. Michigan's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. He goes out of bounds at the 43. quickly to the tight end brought down right around the 44 yard line throws a strike over the middle the 20. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. From the 20-yard line, first down. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Takes it right side. Tackle made right around the 20. Oh, and he had some stuff. 
steam on that throw. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Michigan is looking to go up by three. It's up, and the field goal is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Wildcats were sitting at number 24, and after this victory, they hope to slide up a few spots. This was a tight one to the very end. The Wildcats get the W, 31-28. In other games, the Sun Devils were ranked 18th. After that face plant, they'll be lucky to be ranked at all next week. Did not think it was possible. A major upset today. The Knights win it by 17. Reese, 3-0 here. The Wolverines running back. Sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ballgame. And they can forget about returning this one. Penn State staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. First and ten. Ball on their own 44. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at about the 49. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Fires out to his wideout. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. They chose to throw the ball here on third and short, and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs. He's out of bounds around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, second down. Barry picks up around five yards with that catch. The crowd really making it difficult. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Well, the idea here was obviously not to try anything tricky or force the ball down the field. A simple throw, and they got the first down that they needed. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tosses across to his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 21. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop at about the 11. This is the 10th play of this drive. Nice 
Nice move, and he scores. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Utah is taking the field at Rice Eccles, and they are set to play in Salt Lake City. And for Cincinnati, here's a team that's been ice cold. Cincinnati's on top, 28-24. In another game, let's take a look at some scores from around the country. The Red Raiders unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Texas Tech leads it 7-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Williams, ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this man would be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Man, and they take him down immediately. He fights forward to about the 43. Drill at the 41. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. He's tackled at about the 35. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. The punt goes out of bounds of the four-yard line. The Nittany Lions really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen, and not to mention your wide receivers, I thought he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Nice run to the outside. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own eight. Penn State is up four. Throws this one away. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Brought down at the 10. 
And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Thomas to punt. Roach fields at the 50. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The Nittany Lions are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Finds his man. First down. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in Lawrence. This one was tight. The Cyclones get the win, 28-21. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back in. This is exciting. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 30. Positive yardage. Second down and five. Ball on the 42 yard line. So at the end of one, the Wolverines lead 10 7. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a play. Third and five. Ball on their own 42. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He's going right. Oh, what an interception. He goes out of bounds at the 40. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Michigan holds a field goal lead. Up the middle. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Right. 
Three yard gain by the running back. They hand it off again. He's taken down around the 49 yard line. Tackles at the 39. He gets out to about the eight yard line. in the open field. Stallings gains about five yards on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Michigan is up by three. Caught, open field, and down he goes, around the 25-yard line. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Double tight, double tight. He nine. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. 200 check. 200. Mike is 59. him hard at the 21 yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll be two times, two times. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Gets rid of it quickly. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at the action from Salt Lake City. And for Utah, they've now dropped three in a row. The Bearcats take it by five. All right, Reese, back to our game. King is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. A game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Green nine, green nine. Three. Strike to his receiver, no good. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. That's intercepted to the 20. To the 10. He scores. What a play. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of his hand off. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He sails it long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Thomas is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The Wolverines came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong, but the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big playability. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop at midfield. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Here we go. Nine. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. That makes it fourth and 12. King awaits the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Little tune to that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Got some open field. Got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 38-yard line. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it, and they'll move the chains. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down at the 41. That makes it second and eight. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Watch number 12. Watch. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line.
It's third and five. Ball on the 43. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. And they get nice yardage on that run. Roach is back to receive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on the... Lead and pushed out of bounds behind the line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Coming tight. Go down, go down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Yes! Watch this, watch this. Up, up, motion, 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 motion. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. The completion won't even be close to the down. Well, they'll give them the short yards in that situation, just as long as they keep them from getting a first down. King is the punter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And he's tackled yard line. Fuqua picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Penn State's going to take their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and they push him out at the 47. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 47-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out, the quarterback in the gun. Trying to set up a loose, he gets hit out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Slings it. A one-yard gain on the play. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks up blockers or running backs got it on the screen and he shoved out of bounds at about the 41. They gained five yards there. They executed the screen play well getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 2010, Michigan. 
Penn State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. But they're digging in now. See what happens on this next drive. Tackle right around the eight yard line. From their own 28 yard line. Second down. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 2010 Wolverine. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bean all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense. Pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it and the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 39-yard line. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. And a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 39-yard line. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. And a quick throw. Your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Thomas to punt. Brought down at the 22-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Carries the ball for a nice game. Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. 
Ball on the 30 yard line. Looks left, finding his tailback. He's taken down around the 31 yard line. Third and 12. Ball on their own 31. Second down, 10 yards. Ball on their own 49. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Set. Great run. He's going left. Got it. The 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long studying the offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. And he converts the extra point. King gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movements especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped. Great effort here by the big man getting his hands on the ball, but it would have been even more impressive if he'd hung on to it. Listen to this place. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He goes out of bounds at about the 49. To pick up the first. Next time this deep. From the 49 yard line. First down. To line up with five wide receivers. He fights forward to about the 46. He makes it to the 45 yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Okay, just like that, just like that. And this crowd is going absolutely go, 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 go. crazy. Three. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. They come out in a five-wide set. Takes it up the middle for a nice run.
from the 27 yard line. It's second down. Out of bounds at the 23 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of six on the play. First down. From the 17 yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Here's the 11th play of the drive. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. And this is the 13th play of this drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Horned Frogs taking the field in Fort Worth. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for TCU, they're in danger of losing two straight. Texas Tech leads it 21-17. Ten-point game here, Reese, 27-17. Penn State lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. And down he goes, around the 28-yard line. They make the stop at the 36. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. in the middle and he's taken down at the 44 yard line and he's tackled at the 41 yard line I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. 
that as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He has some room. Excellent open field tackle. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. From their own 21-yard line, second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Difficult. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Roach waiting the return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That brings up second and nine. gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. This time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Tackle at about the 31. down immediately after the catch. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Ready. Mike is 59. 388. Slings it. He's tackled at the 14. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Michigan's got a 10-point lead. to the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action well this offense has got to be elated this is what they had hoped for a stop by their defense just to give them a chance that makes it fourth and eight it's fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit here He gets it up, and it's good. King is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Penn State's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because 
This is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Quick throw. He tackles him for a loss. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Caught and he's hit immediately. They come out on an empty backfield. He's got an opening. He's taken down at the 35. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. down after a nice run up the middle. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 42. Fires it out. Brought down at the 49. First down. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. That's a great tackle at the 44. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's got it out to his tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 39. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it deep. Doesn't get there. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. It's the 11th play of the drive. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. Third down now and they need to get it to the 29. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at about the 13. From the 13-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And two, and seven. And they hit him in the backfield. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. And 
And this is the 14th play of the drive. Short pass, middle of the field. And he is drilled at the six-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He makes it to the six-yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Over the middle, got it, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A long 15-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Michigan is up by six. Check, check. Little handoff. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Under heavy pressure. They'll bring him down at the 30. Comes it out left, got the fullback. And down he goes at the 38 yard line. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. And he carries the ball for a nice game. three minutes in the game. He's under pressure. And a quick throw. He's at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line. First down. tries to buy some time and they make the stop around the 32 yard line Atkins picks up about four yards after pulling the ball down and scrambling there and this play is number eight on the drive he 
makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Third down again. He's at the 20, and he hauls that one in. And he's level at the 16. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. They hand it off. He's gobbled up in the backfield. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. A little over a minute in the game. Foster takes it left. The five. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. So that's going to do it. The Wolverines get the victory, 30-24. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.